Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to use your mouse for steering in Codemasters F1 2014. This method can also be used with other racing titles like the Nature Speed Series, Grid 2, Dirt 3, etc. Okay, first up, we're going to need two programs, namely FreePy and VJoy. Place everything you need with the download link on the description below. This is how it's going to work. VJoy will be the virtual joystick emulator the game will detect and FreePy will send the mouse and keyboard input into VJoy using a script. FreePy is Python based, but even if you don't have much background in programming, the structure is pretty easy to understand, so it should be fairly easy to modify. Okay, um, once you've installed the two programs, we will first configure the game controls. To do this, we'll use the VJoy feeder. As you can see, all the axes and buttons are displayed. To see their effects on VJoy, we can use the VJoy monitor. These are all located in the same folder. We will use X axis for steering, Y axis for throttle, and Z axis for brakes. So let's go ahead and start up the game. Head over to the controls and run the game in window mode so that we can see both the feeder and the controls we're trying to configure. Now let's set the left steering by moving the x-axis slider down on the VJoy feeder. Once that's done, set the slider back to center, then set the right steering by moving the x-axis slider up. Same goes for the throttle and brakes, except we set the slider to the minimum value and then move it upwards from there, so that the whole axis is registered. Close the VJoy feeder and open up FreePy. Load the script. Here you can personalize the behavior of the steering, throttle, and brakes. Mouse sensitivity can be modified here. I use key E for throttle and W for brakes, but you can change them as long as there's no assigned key to it in the game. I've also added a nifty function that will set the steering back to the center by scrolling the mouse wheel up. Throttle increase and decrease time in milliseconds can be set here as well. And the brakes in this section. That's all the basic things you need to know, so with that said, let's run the script and see our input on VJoy Monitor. As you can see, horizontal mouse movement affects the x-axis, my throttle key values on the y-axis and brakes on the z-axis. Now let's see how it runs in the game. And that's it, so uh, thank you for watching.